I guess we just can't see ourselves learning our lessons. We just, we make the same mistakes and we learn. But yeah, we're back here. Let's go ahead and get started. Hola, hola, mi gente. I hope everybody's doing well today. And um, yeah, we are definitely back with a uh, another video. And honestly, you would have thought that I would have learned my lesson the past few times. She has it. Like, the struggle is definitely real. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Usually I'm very excited about things, but this time I just... We should have learned our lesson the first time. And then probably learned our lesson the second time. Well, the second time wasn't actually that bad. It was the third time where we should have learned our lesson right there. Where we should have learned our lesson right there. Clearly, she hasn't. Why? Because we're back here doing this video for you guys. For your entertainment purposes. Because I realized that me ranting about this stuff and all this and that and losing all expectation is very entertaining to you all. And you know what? And that's okay. I'm here to entertain. And if my misery and everything helps you guys be entertained, then by all means, let me be miserable. A little bitter. Anyways, let me go ahead and jump on to this because we're not going to blabber. We're going to jump right into it. And let's go ahead and do this. I'm dying to know what the fuck is in this. So we'll see. We'll see how it is. Let me get this out of the way real quick. Before we go ahead and get started here, you guys, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. That would be really awesome if you guys like me, if you guys like my content and all that stuff. That would be really nice. And also, if you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to hit that like button as well. That would be really awesome as well. As you guys see, you know, from the title of today's video, we are going to be doing the ColourPop Mystery Spring Mystery box honestly i really don't know how to feel about this like we're doing another mystery box of color pop i have like a, such a weird relationship like a weird love-hate relationship with color pop boxes they're mystery boxes especially like the first box which by the way i will leave those links in the in the description box down below if you guys want to see the my previous mystery boxes i'll also include some other mystery boxes that i've done in this channel and such um, so you guys can watch it but as far as what i can tell i've probably done maybe like two mystery boxes uh on video i've done i've purchased three mystery boxes i did not really care for the third box first one was all right second one box was actually way better and then third box was just not it, so it's not it, so, it's, so. So here we are with box number four of the mystery box of ColourPop, whatever. I don't know. Can I, can you guys tell that I sound very enthusiastic about this? <laughs> this is their spring mystery box. Um, so we'll see what we got on here. I'm definitely, I, I'm hoping that they, put a little bit more variety into the situation because I realize they tend to add and put a lot of shit that has really nothing to do with it or nothing to do with anything and it's just kind of more of like leftover stuff but again that's the mystery you don't know what you're getting you're paying a you know a pretty you know pretty affordable price for an overall huge value I like to think of it as like Okay, yes, I'm paying something, you know, smaller and cheaper, which I'm pretty sure maybe like two, three products can probably, you know, make up the what I just paid for. But it's the overall value, like, that is actually more of a worth it. Is most of all these products or most of these products come to a value for you guys, is it really worth the price? This box um, is the Spring Box. Uh, and it is for, I think it was 49 bucks, $49. And I think if I remember correctly in the website, the overall value of the box is $120. So I think you're getting it actually a pretty good deal, depending if the products are actually really good. Um, if they are, you're really getting a good deal. So 49 bucks is the box. Is, the, is how much the box is. I'm sorry, I'm really tired. <laughs> With an over a $120 value. Let's hope that it's actually worth it. 
One thing that I do kind of miss is I wish they did bring back like the tiers that they had. I remember when I bought the first mystery box, they had their tier systems. You know, they had the mini mystery, the the the, the other one, and then the mega mystery and things like that. They had like three different tiers. Obviously, the more the the the, the lowest one is the cheapest one, and then it goes on and goes on. Um, they need to bring that back. I'm not gonna lie, I actually really enjoyed that. All right, guys, I feel like I've talked way too much. I am dying to figure out what the fuck is in this box. And let's go ahead and open this up and um, see what is in our mystery box. So as you guys know, if you guys watch my previous mystery boxes uh, videos, um, I like to face the box away from me because I want to pick out every item and let it be a surprise so that way you guys can get my actual reaction to each product so I want everything to be a huge mystery to me so I'm gonna have the box facing away from me and I'm just gonna be picking out of random okay cool Let's see what do we have here a bunch of fluff first things first we have what is this, honey? Oh, okay. First item, we have a lippy stick. Okay, okay. I was gonna say, I thought it was a color, color stick because I remember a color stick would come like this, but we got a lippy stick. Okay, I am here for this. I like their lippy sticks formulas. They're really nice. Um, I have a few of them, I think. Um, so we have a lippy stick and this is in the shade Fly Fi. I'm sorry, these names are so stupid, but whatever. Ooh, okay. Just FYI, so you guys can see, this is what their lippy stick packaging looks like. What kind of fucking name is that? Whatever. Ooh, that is a pretty color. This one reminds me of the other one that they had that I got, I think it was called Who Run This? That's what this looks like, and it's really pretty. That's what that looks like. That's really pretty. Ooh, okay. So far, we're off to a good start. We're off to a good start. Let me not jinx it, so. All right, let's go ahead and move on to what else we got. This is a giant box. That's what she said. Next item, we have a, what is this? A blush stick. Oh, okay, we have a blush stick. Okay, oh, this is part of their uh, Lemon Cello collection, I think it's called. But this is what the, the 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 collection is part of. But we have a blush stick, you guys. Okay. And this is in Coastal Drive. Okay, let's see what we got. Let's see what kind of color. Let's see if we can pull this off. Is this blush? Is this a yellow blush. <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> well, I really like this packaging. This is a really cute packaging. I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, wait, I, oh my God. These shades are my favorite favorite shades let me swatch it it's a little dark which you guys can see right there it's a little dark but i really like these kinds of uh shades they really work well for my skin so um i really like this and lately i've been getting into like cream blushes um liquid blushes things like that so um i'm excited to try this out okay two products frankie shut up don't jinx it all right Let's see, what else do we have here? We have another small rectangular blah, blah. Rectangular box is what I'm trying to say. Ma'am, we have another lippy stick. <laughs> I hope they don't add too many lippy sticks into this because I really cannot do another, like so many lippy sticks, so. But we have another lippy stick right here and this is in the shade at twilight, okay? I can fucking get it out. Ooh, okay. I'm guessing it's like a very peachy nude color. So that's the color right there. Ooh, I like these kinds of colors. It's like a peachy pink color, more pink toned than I would have expected. That is the color right there at Twilight. It's really pretty. It's a very peach pink color. And I do like these colors. I can pull them off really good with um, these colors, so. I'm not mad at that. That looks really pretty, so. Okay. So far, right now, we have two lippy sticks and then we have a blush stick, so. Um, 
let's go ahead and keep moving forward and see what else is in here. So we have another big box. Uh, I'm tired. Like you can tell that I'm tired when I start sounding very raspy and the struggle starts getting very real. So <laughs> what is this, honey? Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Ooh, I don't know about the shade though. Our next product is gonna be the Lux Gloss right here. And I have the shade Ticklish right here, which is a pale, pale nude pink, pale peach color. I don't think I've ever tried any of their like Lux glosses or anything like that. I know I've tried their 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 original gloss formula that came in the same packaging as their Ultra Mats. I didn't really care for that. Then again, I wasn't really into like glosses at the time. Now I do like to use glosses. I mostly use them on my everyday because it hydrates my lips, keeps them very nice and everything like that. So, you know, it's not my own this packaging. This is some really cute packaging. Like, how cute is that? I don't know if I can probably get away with this, but maybe. I don't know if you guys can see, but it has like little flecks of glitter on it. Um, so. I don't know if I like that smell. It's, it's a very f synthetic, like fruity tangerine smell, but it's not, it's not like, I don't know. It's, it's not a bad smell, but it's also not a good smell, so. I'm pretty sure my face hits it also. <laughs> that is the gloss right there. It's really pretty. Let's keep going. Cause I think we have like a ton of stuff in here. What is this huge, heavy ass box? Like, what the hell is this? Ma'am, I have like a brick right now. I don't know what this is. I'm too afraid to look. So, whatever, let's see. It's in a bubble wrap. This is heavy. What is in here? What is this? Whoa. Whoa. Okay. I was not, I was not expecting this at all. Holy crap. Our next item that we got is a whole fucking set. <laughs> Color Pop said, Frankie, we've seen your videos and we're gonna, we're gonna up this bitch. We have a whole fucking set of quads. And this is from their Good For You Hue collection. Ma'am, we have like six fucking palettes in here. I'm sorry for the cussing. This is heavy. Okay, let's break into this and let's see what we got here. Wow. But now this is all the palettes that are in this thing. That is, that's freaking awesome. First up is we have this one right here called Cream Soda. Um, okay. One issue is I do feel like they need to work on their packaging because I feel like the packaging for their quads breaks really easily, especially when you're like opening them and stuff. So they really do need to work on that. Um, but other than that, it still doesn't take away from me actually liking the products and the shadows that are in it, so. Wait, I feel like I've had this one. Did I have this one before? But this is the cream soda one. I think, I swear to God, I know I had this one prior before a while back. And I gave it to my niece because technically I really don't use these colors much. And she's more of like a nude kind of girl. Nudes, you know, things like that. These kinds of colors. So I gave her this one for, um, for her. But um, this is cream soda. It's pretty colors and everything like that. But I mean, I guess... Next up that we have is the Sorbet one. So this is Sorbet right here. These colors, Frankie, are up my alley. I really like that it's, you know, two mattes, two shimmers. I feel like it should be like that for whenever you're doing quads like this. Two mattes, two shimmers, or three mattes, one shimmer, or whatever, instead of all being all shimmers, or like one matte and three shimmers and all this and that. I really like that they went half and half really workable and user friendly for a lot of people so but this is sorbet these are really pretty colors man next up we have peach please just say a color pop bitch please Ooh, 
this I like. This is peach, please. Like, look at how cute those colors are. Ma'am, these colors are up my alley. This is a Frankie palette right here. I feel like the more I open it, the, give, the better and better they're getting. Like, ma'am. Next up, we have Plum. What is this? Plum and Get It. There we go. It's pretty. I like that it's... Let me, let me show you guys. This is Plum and Get It. I really like this. It's pretty. It's a little bold. Not too bold, but I feel like it's the right kind of bold. And then you have this nice, beautiful pop of purple right here. Um, and such to kind of complement the rest of these colors. Oh, not gonna lie. Yes. Yes. This one's right here. Next up we have is hot chocolate. Ooh, I feel like this is gonna be a Frankie palette for sure. It is. It's a Frankie palette, ma'am. Anyways, so this is hot chocolate right here. Look at how awesome these colors are. This is a Frankie palette. And I really like that they just put one shimmer and the rest are all matte. So you kind of have like a little bit more playtime with the mattes and everything. So love this. This right here is me. This is a me color right here. Ma'am, this palette is going to get a lot of love for me. That's for sure. What is going on? Honestly, what is happening? I, uh, Frankie, don't get too excited. Stop, stop, stop. You're gonna fucking, you're gonna jinx it. Last but not least, we have this one right here and it's called Silver Spoon. Now this palette is something that will get love for me. So this is Silver Spoon right here. Look at how pretty these colors are. I love that we have this bold color right here, this deep, um, green bluish kind of color this dark black almost greenish kind of color and then we have the silver and then that cream color and then we have this nice beautiful like blue toned silver which is really pretty i like this all i can say is wow this is shocking that we have they gave us this like what what we have been getting a lot of really good stuff this right here was definitely a big shocker for me as far as what I can tell, it is a huge step up from their previous box, from the last box that I got. I'm enjoying it so far. I'm really enjoying what I'm getting. So let's keep going. So we still have a few more products in here. Um, so we have something flat rectangular. I'm pretty sure this is an eyeshadow palette. Let's hope it's a good eyeshadow palette. So we'll see. Let me get rid of this. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Let's see what kind of eyeshadow we got. This eyeshadow palette has been like in and out of my cart whenever I would get paid. And I would go to the ColourPop website and I would put this in my cart and then take it out days later and then put it back in. I have like a whole love-hate relationship with wanting to buy this fucking palette. Yay! <laughs> our next item that we received in our mystery box is the ColourPop and Malibu barbie palette not gonna lie i really have been wanting this palette um of course the color story can be a little bit better um i feel like glam light did a much better job with their barbie collection than color pop did but either way um i still wanted this palette um i feel like for what it is it's kind of fun all and stuff so uh but yeah this is the palette right here as you guys can tell i see malibu barbie this is prettier in person. Why did I think this was going to be a little bit more bigger in my mind? I don't know. Online, it looks really very muted. But now looking at it in person, it's more vibrant than I thought. So, um, but these are the colors right here. In person, this looks so much vibrant and more fun. And, oh my god, I'm excited to play with this. Really excited to play with this. I, like, of course, like the blues. The pinks, the yellows, and you know, the little oranges and stuff. So I'm not mad at this. Let's continue. Let's see what else we got. I think we have. Is this it? Really? No, there's gotta be more in here. What? I'm believing that this is our last item. And it is a long palette. It is a palette. I can feel that it is a palette. Um, so let's see. What is this, honey? This is the Moon Haze 
palette right here. Um, I don't remember this. What is this? Um, yeah, I don't remember ever seeing something like this. Ooh, this packaging is really pretty. I am not gonna lie. Look at how pretty and vibrant that packaging is. I like that. Now I remember. I remember what this is now. I remember that they got a ton of backlash because they released their neon collection and it was three palettes. And I remember a lot of people gave them shit because it's like, why are you calling this neon? Because there was only one neonish color. And I remember it was this one, a green one, and I think it was like a blue one. So it's a palette with all these nudes and like one neon shade right here so i remember they got a lot of flack for that of course it's you know you got your neutrals shimmers neutrals and then you have your pop of color right here which it's not bad but again if you're calling a neon set or a neon collection with this really pretty like 80s retro kind of packaging and going more neon let's have some fun with this stop trying to like play it safe and do all this and that like just go with it just Play with it you know have fun go all about it so let me see if we have anything else left on here and it doesn't look like it i'm gonna cheat a little bit and see just want to make sure dang why do i feel like i just got sucker look the end this is everything <laughs> go fuck yourself color bomb <laughs> that was it why do I feel like it could have been a little bit more products? Here's my two cents. I feel like they could have had more fun with this and add a little bit more. I honestly, I'm going to call this out right now. I feel like the most of the value of this box came from this. I feel like this is where most of the value of the whole box comes from because right now, this is on sale right now. So this is like 12 bucks for cheap right now. And then, well, this doesn't exist anymore. And then obviously these are like, obviously the lipsticks and the, uh, the cheeks and all that stuff. Like, you know, right now everything is like super cheap. But honestly, like I said, I feel like the most value came from this. And I'm not mad at it. I feel like this is really fun. This is really exciting. But I kind of was expecting a little bit more this is all that we got right here. We have this stuff right here and this. Again, I feel like they could have added a little bit more stuff, more fun things, things like that. Maybe like a blush, highlighters, things like that, um, bronzers, whatever, um, instead of just the minimal product. And again, I'm not mad at it. I feel like definitely this box was a lot better than their previous boxes. I feel like they've been really hitting the mark and not fully understanding on the funness on the what a mystery box is. Um, overall, I'm still not mad at what we got. I do feel like I did get a good value um, for what I actually paid for um, because these are all products that I see myself using. These as well. Um, well, not so much this, but this. I'm gonna have a lot of fun with and also the lippy the blush and the gloss so I'm really excited to play with this and you know and all this and that but we're in the right 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 step in the right direction you know so could there be some improvements of course but for now this is a small improvement so again I'm not mad at it I really did like what we got and yeah We've reached the end of this video. Finally. I feel like I've been filming for like hours. Ugh. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Did you guys uh, enjoy any of the products that we got? Um, as well as what do we think of the overall situation with what we got in our boxes and everything like that? Um, leave all that in the comment section down below. That would be really awesome. I want to know your guys' thoughts and, and things like that. So... Just FYI, this video is not sponsored. I know I'm seeing this like towards the end of the video. I should have said this in the beginning, but um, do want to put out this disclaimer. This video is of course not sponsored in any means necessary. I bought this with all of my own money and all my opinions are my own. ColourPop ain't paying me shit. So instead I'm paying them, so. But of course, 
If you guys want to go ahead and check out the ColourPop website, I will leave a link down below uh, in the description box so you guys can check out the ColourPop website. I believe they might still have this mystery box um, available. Uh, if not, you can go ahead and check out their other products. You know, I feel like they do have some good, you know, some good gems. Lately, it's been a little bit all or miss, but they've had, so they still have some, you know, solid products and things like that. So, oh, this lash has been bugging me all night, man. Oh, this entire time that I've been doing this video, this lash has been like, before I let you guys go, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you guys like me, if you guys like my content, um, subscribe, that would be really awesome. As well as if you guys like today's video, don't forget to also hit that like button, that would be really awesome as well. And I think that is pretty much all that I have for you guys today. Um, should I keep doing more of these ColourPop boxes, these ColourPop mystery boxes? I feel like it's always the anticipation, because you never know with ColourPop. It can be a huge miss, uh, but when they bring it, they bring it. So, um, I don't know. Should I continue these boxes? <laughs> I said to my friend, I was like, let's do this one final time. So, <laughs> so let me know if you guys want to know if you guys want me to continue these mystery box situations. So. All right, guys, I'm starting to sound really raspy and more like a man. So I'm going to go ahead and jump on off of this. And um, other than that, I mean, I really have nothing else to say. So... Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.